One of the problems we see is that students really struggle with discussion questions around financial management type topics, strategic thinking, operational stuff, costing methodologies. They really struggle with this and there's a very specific reason for this and understanding why is going to be really, really helpful for you. Okay, yeah, all the stuff that you learn in your textbooks is, is what you kind of think of as your theory. I talk about it as your knowledge base, right? So your textbooks, your standards, you know, all of the, the stuff you learn in financial management, PESOL, SWOT analysis, the different types of costing methodologies and calculations, um, you know, the, all your different accounting standards and the recognition criteria, the measurement criteria, your auditing standards, your tax legislation, you know, your company law. All of that is like a knowledge base, right? So I want you to think about all the stuff that you're learning is part of your knowledge base, including all the calculations that are required to do these things, including all the formats of how they should look in the financial statements. That's a knowledge base, right? So I want you to think about this big ball, um, you know, that you have next to you that is your knowledge base. When I give you a question, when I give you a case study, what we're trying to do is say, your client comes into your office, sits down in front of you and says, this is what's going on in my life. You know, this is what's going on in my company. I need help with this. Your job is to say, okay, let me understand what's happening in your business, what you're needing. I'm gonna go through this massive knowledge base of mine and see what knowledge is relevant for helping you. Like what, of this knowledge is going to be helpful for you. In some cases, some of the knowledge base is compliance based, which is you have to do this. The law says you have to do this. You have to calculate it this way according to the standards. You aren't allowed to deduct that according to tax legislation. You need to develop the skill of seeing, okay, this is what's going on. This is the area we're dealing with. And so therefore there's a very specific accounting standard relating to that. And I'm gonna, comp I'm gonna apply that and go, in order to account for this properly, you need to follow the rules of that particular standard. And then we get back to a compliance type question where you take the theory, you take the compliance stuff, you take the standards and you go, standard said you should do this. This is what you're, this is what you're actually doing. And so you need to change this. Standard says you should do this. This is what you're actually doing. So you're fine here. That's compliance based tax legislation based stuff, um, accounting standards. You don't have a choice. That is your theory, that is your compliance-based stuff. So whatever's going on in the company, you've got to pull it out and you've got to find the compliance stuff and go, the law says you must do that. And so therefore you must do that. However, some of the stuff that we're less comfortable with, some of your knowledge base has nothing to do with compliance. 